The folks from Air Selfie are back. Welcome to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Air Selfie is CEO Greg Appelhoff. Hi, Greg. Fred, good to see you again. Great to see you. Now, before we get into what is brand new, let's chat for our audience a little bit about the background and the evolution of Air Selfie. Fantastic. This was a company that was started actually in, in Milan, Italy in 2017. The idea, I don't have one in front of me, but you can imagine me holding a selfie stick with my iPhone out here, right? And maybe you're at the Diamo in uh, Milan and everybody's got their selfie sticks. So the, the founders, Marco and Ido, their concept was, why can't we do that with a, with a small little pocket-sized drone? And that's where it started. Uh, this product we're going to talk about today is actually our fourth generation. So uh, we did have um, had a little bit of difficulty during the pandemic, and we had to retool kind of how we were uh, developing products. And but we're really excited about what we've been able to come out with in, in this uh, new product, Air Neo. You know, that's what I was going to say. It's called the Neo. So tell us about it. What's new? What's different? Uh, so we learned from uh, our users that one of the one of the things that really inhibited them from using a pocket size uh, product, the uh, flying camera, some people call it, we call it an aerial camera, was this was your phone. And it was actually the the controlling the the flight of the aerial camera in air, and so that process of connecting and then flying and then getting it in the right position and then maybe pushing a button to take a picture or a video, it took quite a bit and it was, it was very drone-like. Uh, so what's really new about Air Neo is today, we can simply turn this on. You can see the flashing blue light. Uh, we're using an input button on the back and now we have four functions that are all just hands-free autonomous. So like driving your Tesla down the middle of the road and it's the lines are there, our lines are your face and your body. So we're actually using AI and computer vision to capture your face and recognize where we are in relation to creating a great picture or great video. Wanted to give you a quick demonstration of our new product, Air Neo. Uh, this is our autonomous flight with four different modes. I'd simply take this out of my pocket. I turn it on by clicking this button. It's on, and now I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna actually do auto fly wide, which is our 74 degree field of view mode. Here we go. I toss that out. It's gonna frame me up. Now you can probably see it. it. Frames me up here using facial detection. See my face. It's gonna give me a flashing red light to tell me there's a picture. And there's another picture. And after that second picture, it's just going to fly back looking for my face and then just simply land in my hand. So that's one of the main differences. We've improved the image quality also. I think along the way, Air Selfie has not been known for great images. Uh, we're not as good as an iPhone 13, but we feel very comfortable that these images that we're creating now, 12 megapixel pictures and 2K video, the internet and sharing those through social media are fantastic. Well, step us through, you kind of hinted at some of it there. Uh, step us through the user experience, start to finish here now. Fantastic. You buy one so of these and- You buy one of these, you take it out of the box. Um, you're gonna you know, go on your, your trip. You're gonna go be with your friends or with your pet or you know, wherever, wherever you want to do it. Uh, and you're gonna take this out of your pocket and without having to connect to the phone for a controller, you're just going to be able to very quickly click the button. You'll see it will spin up and then you just simply toss it out in front of you. And it either, depending on the inputs, it's going to go out and do a wide. So wide is about five feet away from you. So it could get a group of people. We have a 74 degree field of view lens. Uh, you could do click three times and you could get zoom. So that's a picture that's about two and a half feet out in front of you. So pretty much, you know, right up below my Air Selfie logo there, it's going to get that picture. Uh, we have video. So this is really exciting. Now we can click this four times and do 15 seconds of video. And the AI technology, and, and Fred, I sent you a video. You can see this a little bit, but it will follow you. So now if I want to do my little TikTok dance, it will do that. And then we also have 360. So uh, five times, click 
it goes out in front of you and basically captures everything around you so you can see where you are uh, in the space. So the user case is that, and then you do connect um, our product to your app, to the Air Selfie app, which is in the App Store, Apple App Store and Google uh, Play App Store, and you download your content. And then you share it either on TikTok or on Instagram or Facebook or Snap, uh, really any social media platform. We're not limited to a single platform. So I just turn it on and uh, and toss it into the air and it's going to do all of that. How do I get it back? Yeah, so it it after it takes those two pictures or 15 seconds of video, we shut down the, the camera from a picture taking or video taking standpoint. We turn it back on and use it for AI. So now we say, okay, where is the face? So the, the face is the target. Where is the face? And so it comes back and approaches me until it gets to about a foot away, foot and a half away from me. And then it just goes up and then slowly drops right back into my hand, just like that. And so if it's if I'm moving around the room, it's always focusing in on me and looking for that face. It also uses the body as another place to kind of to, to push the AI, uh, but it will come back and then just land in my hand. That's terrific. So is there a mode also for controlling it with a phone or you're strictly so, going sure. autonomous? Sure. So, so we think that the autonomous mode and is, and our users tell us, right, that's how they want to use it, but we still work like a traditional drone. So you can connect uh, air selfie, the air Neo uh, to your phone. We can either control it in typical game mode, right? Where you have two uh, virtual joysticks or we have a gyro mode. So you can control it like this. I think Fred, when I demonstrated it to you a couple of years ago, we were actually controlling it like this. So we were launching it and then we were getting it into position and then pushing the button to create video or, or images. So today we've eliminated that. You, you can use it if you wanna go for a little further away or you wanna do some special video where you're flying uh, through and maybe you know flying through a door or something like that. At what distance do you have control over it? We could go out to 60 feet. We're Wi-Fi connected. And, and the other thing, I don't, I don't have the app up, but you, we actually stream and can see the picture. So when I'm, when I'm like this, right, when I have my phone like this, I can see the entire picture is streaming to my device when I'm controlling it, but 60 feet away. Very exciting. Tell me about pricing and availability. So pricing is $150. Uh, for the device, we also make the uh, make the portable power bank sleeve, which looks like this. So this is kind of fun because it just slides in like that. And then you've got six more charges. So we're six minutes of battery power. Uh, with this device, it's another 5,000 milliamps. So it gives you six additional charges. Uh, so this is $50. So combined at $200 for this. It's available on our site at Air Selfie Camera. Uh, dot com and we're shipping this next week. That's really exciting. So six minutes of battery time that you have on it. And then how long would it take to charge up to get it back up in the air? You know, it takes uh, the, the use case that we promote is this idea is that you, uh, you fly it, that flight time takes maybe a minute, a minute and a half to go out and capture video or images. You've then got that picture. You then put it back uh, here into the sleeve and you're recharging it. So that recharge takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Uh, a full charge takes about 50 to 55 minutes if you've flown it for six minutes straight and depleted the whole battery. And uh, the, how do we get the pictures onto the phone or then if, yeah. if you wanted to bring it on a computer, I guess you'd do it through the phone? Right, so we, uh, if you wanna do that, we have our Air Selfie app, which I'll just open up. And so here's, uh, an example of some of the pictures I just took and the video I just sent to you. So these stream into our app um, from the device via Wi-Fi. So you're connected via Wi-Fi. And uh, you can see there's my uh, gray vest on. I don't know how well your Zoom team can see that, but there it is. Right, you can go in and, and you know see me with my thumbs up. Hey, hey, you know, text to nation. So um, it just streams wirelessly to the phone with our with our app. Very cool. And again, you're saying this whole package with that battery is, is about $200. Now, I need to ask you what your thoughts are about some of the new competition you have, this yeah. device that Snap came out with. Fantastic. Well, we, we, uh, 
we were aware of kind of what was going on. And I'll, I, have, I have two thoughts. One, Air Selfie since 2017 has been working to create a autonomous, uh, personalized aerial camera, right? We've seen that, you know, people, the physical selfie stick, we wanted to eliminate that. In the last year, uh, we've been working, we won a CES Innovation Award, uh, so that in 2022 for this Air Neo, for the autonomous technology that we've developed. So basically removing the controller. So uh, last week, Snap introduced a product called Pixie. Um, just a comment for your users, our third generation product was called Pix. Interesting. Um, but we really, we really, what we really like, uh, Fred, is the fact that it, it really legitimizes the fact that consumers want to have this other perspective of being able to capture content. And, and we love that expansion. And, and we've already seen a tremendous amount of uh, interest coming in because we something we've been talking about for years now is being talked about another competitor as a different way to approach capturing content. And that's what we're excited about. Another issue that... Uh... That comes to mind, and I don't know if I guess it might vary, and I'm not sure <laughs> how you can answer it. But there are there are lots of places today that tell you you cannot fly a drone mm -hmm. to, to take images. Do you, do you think right. we can get away with the air selfie neo here? Well, I, I, I'll tell you my experience is this: uh, you know, flying it in coffee shops around the world, and, and you know, demonstrating it, and literally, I've never had anybody say, "Oh my gosh, don't do that," but. It's very small, very light. Um, it it doesn't. It's not loud. It it does. It sounds like a drone, but it's not. It's not loud. Um, so I think you have to just be respectful of the of the place that you are. Right. We're also not trying to promote. You asked about how far it flies. We're not really promoting to fly sixty feet out and back. Right. We're really promoting within a ten foot personal area. So if I want to get this picture of myself and, and my wife or myself and my kids, right, I need about 10 feet. I look around, I make sure I've got 10 feet. I click, click, fly, takes pictures and comes back. So I think that there's, you know, and technically in the regulation, we're below 249 grams. So you don't have to register this product. Um, but I think you just have to be respectful of the environment that you're in and the, and the people that are there. So I guess you have to use common sense when it comes to going to a, a national park or a state park or someplace that says no drones. This isn't exactly a drone, but I guess some people might say, yes, it is. So sure. common, sure. common sense is in order here. Sure. I think let's say the guts of it are a drone, right? But I think we have also trying to create some new communication because a lot of people, the experience with drones has been fairly scary takes a long time to set up is really, you know, not for kind of personal space. It's for that kind of long, I'm going across the lake or I'm going above a building uh, real estate type shot, right? It's not for more close angle. It's not for giving me a different perspective of what I'm, what I'm trying to do here. I think you're, the other thing you're that, certainly not yeah. interfering with aircraft the way you have to be concerned yeah. on with a bigger drones. Right. Right. And this couldn't, this really couldn't hurt anything, right? It, it's very, very light. Um, you know, the other thing that I'll add, Fred, that we're also doing in, we'll be excited to come back and talk to you, but we're going to, we're going to add an additional, sorry about the phone calls there. We're going to add additional camera. Uh, so today we're taking uh, pictures and video from this camera. We're going to add a, an additional camera here on the bottom. And that camera will allow us to do what we call a drony, right? So we're also excited about that. We'll use some of our uh, AI to have it do those same autonomous or auto fly flights uh, to do that. So we're thinking out ahead in, in terms of how users want to use this, but again, all within more of a personal space and not about, you know, flying it out across the, uh, the, the field. So for more info, where should people go? So come to airselfiecamera.com. And today the Air Neo is there and our power banks are there and, and, uh, our support site is up. So if you have questions, you can go into our chat and ask questions. Uh, that's probably the best place. We're also on Facebook. Uh, we're on Instagram. Uh, those are probably the best places to, uh, to connect with us. Terrific. Well, congratulations on the innovation there. Greg Applehoff, thank you for taking the time with us. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it very much. Have a great day.